This episode of Man of Prestige, I'm often giving her some space because you already got caught. That's even a bigger problem than you cheating, okay? Because again, uh, a lot of people think cheating and infidelity is a big deal in relationships. No, it's not a bigger deal than it is. It is a big deal because it's a bad choice, right? But the, but it's more of a symptom. There are all other underlying things going on, right? Nonetheless, it's your choice. It's not a mistake. It's a choice. Uh, a lot of time it's premeditated, right? Uh, but there are moments when it's not premeditated. And I know it's hard for certain type of people, the holier than thou, high horse people, it's hard for them to fathom that. It's hard for them to understand why it could be a situation that's not premeditated. But again, start keep having experience in life and you will understand what I mean. For now, don't worry about it. But my point is this, it's a choice, okay? Um, and um, yes, I will come off a little bit, I'm excusing it. All right, man of prestige, welcome back. Um, I cheated on my girlfriend four things to determine what to do so in this video i'm not going to tell you what to do i'm going to try to just tell you things that can help you know what to do is that okay so if you cheated on your girlfriend that's a good chance if you stumble into this video you're wondering why um you're wondering what you can do uh, to relieve yourself okay Let, let's stop pretending here okay uh this is a camouflage it's like you want to be faithful right you want to be honest you want to come up front no this is bullshit this is arrogance okay that makes you feel like you you want to feel better uh you have your conscience is heating you up okay and you want to feel better uh about you know what has happened and you feel like you will feel better if you tell her and that's not necessarily true okay uh you may not feel better now what about her feeling better if you tell her have you considered that if you tell her uh or if you if you have full disclosure here will she feel better about the situation have you considered that if you haven't considered then you've been selfish okay yes it's camouflage as you want to be faithful you want to be honest and all this kind of stuff but it's you it's like people that want to do charity and they say hey, i'm doing it for them no for the most part more importantly, you're doing it for yourself. One of the basic, six basic emotional human needs is contribution. We need to contribute. We need to feel like we're contributing to other people. And that makes us feel better about ourselves than we actually are, right? So, let me make sure that my thing here is not acting up. All right, so you, you see what I'm saying? So, it's um, let, let's let's be calming down. Let's calm down with your holier than down high horse. But I want to help you, okay? Uh, you cheated, okay? The more important thing is that it's bad behavior. You made a bad choice. And at least based on your personal standards. Because if it wasn't based on your personal standards, we wouldn't be on this video, right? So, at least based on your personal standards, you felt like you cheated and you you want to fix it so it's bad behavior for you it's already a bad let's never mind her for a second for you it's a bad behavior the, the, the first question is why like 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 why are you a cheater <laughs> right why are you doing something that you know will make you feel terrible right what how can you stop doing it how can you make sure you don't do this again in the future that's the real question that you need to answer for yourself based on your personal standards but let's get into thing number four the thing that will help you determine what to do number four uh, don't apologize unless unless she requests for an apology okay well how will she request for an apology if you don't get caught right so you get caught right and then she requires two things she requires an apology from you right before she can move forward right that's the only time apologies will work because the best apologies is change behavior like i said let's go back to you as a person as an individual there's something about you that made you cheat knowing that it's against your personal standards that's low self-esteem at the very minimum okay insecurity at the very minimum something going on with you because you know that this makes you feel some type of way maybe you didn't know now you know so the next question is how do you prevent this from happening in the future whatever void you were trying to fill, how do you make sure that that void is filled regardless and you don't have to go cheat based on your personal standard in order to uh in order to get to the, to the next space again or so you can avoid not being in this position again so again don't apologize unless number one you got caught in which case she can question if your apology is authentic or not if you tender the apology 
uh, without the second condition, which is she solicited for it, right? If you tend out an apology, that unsolicited apology, she's gonna ask you, are you sorry because you got caught or you're sorry because you have remorse, right? And this is always a confusing place to be because again, there was a void you were trying to fill, especially for you, right? Number three thing that you need in order to determine what to do. Why do you have remorse? Is this your conscience or because you got caught, <laughs> right? Uh, if it's your conscience, right? Then again, don't don't put this on her. This is about you. Stop acting like you're about to be faithful and honest and all this bullshit that humans tell themselves. This is about you. This is arrogant. Uh, and make sure that it makes sense to you before you drag her through this crazy mod, uh, the crazy crazy mod that you're putting yourself through, right? Thing number two. What to do now is. What do you do now? I just said it. I'm going to repeat it, right? What you do now should be based on why you are feeling the way you feel, okay? Which is, why do you have remorse? Is it because you got caught or because what you do now, if your conscience, if this is your conscience, what you should do now is to work on yourself, okay? Why is it that something that will eat up your conscience this way is the behavior you it's basically bad behavior it's like it's like you're it's, you're an addict of some sort especially if we're talking about serial situation right if it's a one time then you may want to forgive yourself and then make sure you put measures in place to take care of your of yourself in a way that doesn't eat up your conscience right but if it's because you got caught then relax okay you got caught let let things let things simmer a little bit okay take some time off it's okay if you can't take time off that's even more of a problem okay if you have a hard time taking some time off and giving her some space because you already got caught that's even a bigger problem than you cheating okay because again uh, a lot of people think cheating and infidelity is a big deal in relationships no it's not a bigger deal than it is it is a, it is a big deal because it's a bad choice right but the, but it's more of a symptom there are all other underlying things going on right nonetheless it's your choice it's not a mistake it's a choice uh, a lot of time is premeditated right uh, but there are moments when it's not premeditated and I know it's hard for certain type of people the holier than thou high horse people it's hard for them to fathom that it's hard for them to understand why it could be a situation that's not premeditated but again start keep having experience in life and you will understand what I mean for now don't worry about it but my point is this it's a choice okay um, and um, yes, I will come off a little bit. I'm excusing it because again, you don't have enough experience, right? But if you have enough experience, um, it's not about excusing. It's about, hey, there are bigger things that are happening when it comes to the human mind. There are underlying things that's happening, that, that's happening behind the scenes of a human mind that will put them in a position where they make terrible choices they're not necessarily proud of. Unless you want to tell me that you've always made choices that you're proud of 100% of the time. In that case, I would tell me, I would tell me and you that you're both, you're full of shit. <laughs> okay. So now, so what to do now would be based on the previous step. Um, like I said, if it's remorse, right? If your remorse is based on conscience, you need to work on yourself. If your remorse is based on you got caught, take it time, take time off and wait until she's willing to have a conversation. And then you can say, you know i apologize based on her vibe if she's soliciting for it directly or indirectly i apologize i want to work on our i want to work on our relationship and you saying i want to work on our relationship tells her that you understand that you're not expecting to be fixed immediately and she can respect that right thing number one i'm a little bit all over the place but i gave you some some structure hopefully you can go back and just watch the video uh thing number one honestly Honesty driven entitlement, okay? Uh, it's it's kind of related to what I said earlier. If you have honesty driven entitlement because you're a honest person, right? Generally speaking, you're not expecting you want to be honest. And you have entitlement, you're going to put that weight on her and chances are she can't meet up to it, right? Like I said, go back to self. If you, if you cheated on your girlfriend and you're on this video, you feel like this is a bad thing and that's okay. That's your personal standard fix yourself okay let's not drag her through it let's not say hey let me sit down and confess to her right without considering how that's gonna make her feel 
Don't, don't do that, right? If you've considered pro properly what that's going to make her feel, if you know her enough that you know she will want to know that information, if you know that your conscience will need to clear this up, then that may be the next move. But please, get rid of the entitlement. It's going to suck for a while. She's going to have a hard time forgiving you. And you have to be extremely generous in terms of giving her time to forgive you because your entitlement can completely give you the false uh, expectations in terms of she's, she, should, she should forgive you right away. No, she may actually dump you and never forgive you ever in life. So just expect that. Don't, don't have this honesty driven entitlement just because I'm honest, she should be able to forgive you. No, no, that's not how life works, okay? If she's, have a, if she's having a hard time trusting you ever again, that's gonna destroy the chances of her ever uh, being in the comfortable zone or feeling safe and secure around you which is what women want. They need to feel safe, secure, and loved, right? That's it. All right, men of prestige.